Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's Star Wars The Bad Batch Season 1 Episode 13. Last two episodes were really good. A pair of episodes tied together that uh, told Hera's backstory and like I said in the last episode, would really love to see some of the other rebels. I don't know if that's going to actually happen, but of course would love to see Hera meet Caleb Doom, right? <laughs> or Kanan rather. But uh, I don't know if that's going to happen, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's roll it. Infested. That reminds me of that uh, episode in Clone Wars where they were dealing with the Geonosian worms going up their nose. That was, <laughs> that was a really good story arc there. Sid better pay us extra for that mission. That wasn't so bad. She failed to mention the drop zone will be swarming with gun darks. Oh, good old nested nested nest gun darks, huh? <laughs> well, it's probably best you don't know everything anyway. Who are these guys? Not Imperial. Look like some sort of guards, though. Born here. Oh, there are a couple of pikes walking out of there. Where do you think you're going? To Sid's office. Work here. It's rude to barge into one's office unannounced. This isn't your Who office. Who is this guy? <laughs> Guess again. That's Ruby? not Vizago. She's my prized pet. <laughs> your what prized are you pet? Doing with her? <laughs> I think I Omega disagrees. Did deliver. This parlor and Ord Mantel are now my territory. Oh, well, you just walk in work, and take it, huh? I might have use for you. Mm, I don't think, think they're, uh... <laughs> you don't do think they want to take you up on that. What about Sid? What did he mean when he said she was Yeah, out? you should go help Given her. Given his tone, it is a plausible assumption that Sid was either forced out or taken out. I'm assuming just forced out, but... <laughs> well, we have to find you might owe her something. <clears throat> kind of your home now. Nice to see one of you cares. Inside, now. <laughs> of course it's Omega. The rest of them are so too practical. So you boys met Roland, the son of crime boss Issa Durand. Roland's trying to make a name Never for heard himself that name, I don't by think. joining up with the Pikes. What's he doing on Ordman? Well, that explains the Pikes. This port's connected to multiple hyperspace routes. Ideal for smuggling. Roland saw the value in it and took it. But we yeah, eminent domain. are taking it back. We? If I lose <laughs> yeah, you, we. don't forget how good I've been at keeping secrets. Yeah, I exactly. I believe she's threatening us. You're quick. She's the one getting and you all the money you're living off of. Remember? A buyer's meeting Roland tonight to acquire a shipment of spice. He stole oh, it in course, my back spice. office. You want to disrupt the his supply chain by stealing the shipment and thereby sabotaging the deal. Very good, Goggles. Mm, smart guy. When the pikes <laughs> come to collect, Roland won't be able to pay, and he'll be their problem. Well, always the sewer, right? <laughs> Start climbing, tough guy. Into the garbage chute, flyboys. Where are we? Oh, it's Old not a sewer. Old mining tunnels. It's how we're sneaking into my parlor to steal the spice. Just like cable cars. Well, why would we just walk in there and take it? We can have those guards. No one can. But know then they would involved. know. The pikes aren't an enemy you want to make. We'll use these we'll carts to not. transport the crates of spice. Tiny goggles, you're with me. <laughs> Tiny, yeah. Looks like a pretty deep chasm there. Now End listen of the up. Line? When we pass through those doors. Not a peep out of anyone. The caverns have a slight infestation problem. <laughs> of We're what? Not afraid of a few bugs. <laughs> well, it won't be a problem if everyone keeps their traps shut. Yeah, including you. Get the door. <laughs> Just opening the door was pretty loud. Oh, those look like spider webs or something. Oh, and it's not like they're cut off from the uh, outside. There's a big hole in the ground. They're all nervous. What was that? You dummy. <laughs> well, actually, I thought they were webs, but they're kind of hard for the flashlight to be bouncing off of them. It was an accident. <laughs> you weren't being careful enough. <laughs> this reminds me of Lord of the Rings when... Uh, <laughs> But Mary drops the suit of armor down the well. Just the drums from the deep. Keep moving. See what you're working with? A bunch of amateurs, Sid. 
And they gotta come back through here, here too with all that spice. How do we know Roland is not inside? I've got that covered. Okay. Cause a disturbance, is that what we're gonna do? <laughs> Ruby, find her. Huh. That was a pretty good plan. <laughs> Man, they've made a mess of our office. <laughs> oh, this is her storeroom. Can the commentary? Roland won't be gone for long. Yeah, man, that is going to be pretty hard to haul down that ladder, I would think. Yeah, that's what Wrecker's for. Where is she? We looked everywhere. Can't find her. Yeah, that must mean you didn't look everywhere. More popcorn, yeah. Uh-oh. Ran out of popcorn, huh? You coward! I think I have run away. <laughs> Oh, they jammed the door, okay. Blaster opens everything. <laughs> Just drops the pet it's on the gone. floor. <laughs> Let's go. You'd better hurry. <laughs> Hopefully the bugs or whatever they are go after these ones. I got incoming! They said no blaster fight! Tell that to them! Yeah, no kidding. Ooh! <laughs> that was pretty smart. <laughs> nice. Well, that worked. If brains woke the hive, we're all dead! Not unless you make it through this door, right? What's that sound? You don't want to know, probably. Well, there's some sort of flying insects. Uh, yeah, what are those things? Ooh, there sure are a lot of them. They're avoiding the light. Use your torches. Not the spice! Oh, no, you, why not let them have the spice? <laughs> yeah, exactly. As long as Roland doesn't have the spice, that's all that matters, right? <laughs> Did all well, of them make it through? At least we got rid of the spice. <laughs> it, it was all her idea. Now all the pikes yeah, are coming after all of them, I guess. Get them <laughs> out of here. Where is our payment? Oh. The pikes did See, come. My plan worked like a charm. Even better than expected. Yeah, but the pikes want that spice still. <laughs> That's her. She's the one you want. It oh, has come to my attention that you have stolen our shipment of spice. Uh-oh, that's, that's not the plan, us, is it? <laughs> we will consider this issue resolved. We don't have any spice. Kill them all. <laughs> Wait, we don't have the spice on us, but we know Of course you gotta go my back in there. patience is wearing very thin. You should have no problem retrieving it. Yeah, Until no problem. You do. The child stays here. Uh, we don't have a choice. But yeah, we know where I think she's right. Is. We'll return it, and the kid will be fine. The terror creatures we encountered in the cavern are Erlings. I got the kid into this mess, and I'll get her out. It's not a bad plan. I think you just go in there with a whole bunch of lights or something. I think you could use more flashlights than just those couple. I guess, yeah, they can just attach that uh, rope to the crate and have the ship haul them out. How in the world are you going to find those things? Oh, well, there's one. Found one! I'll secure it. Start looking for the other crates. Quietly. I think he knows about the quiet part by now. I wouldn't think Don't about that. <laughs> They'll kill you. 
Mm -hmm. If your friends don't return the spice, we're both dead. You take what you want. That's the Durand way. It's That's also called mother's meddling. <laughs> so she's a criminal too. Ugh, you make it sound so undignified. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's one, two. Were there six total? I think. Those things are gonna wake up. Yeah, better I hurry up. I am preparing for that possibility. I'm assuming some sort of a light emitting bomb or something. Oh, they got them all. Wow. Rest later. Bring us up. Oh, is the motor gonna break? <laughs> Ooh, there you go. <laughs> now that was Sid that bumped it, not Wrecker, right? That was her fault this time. Maybe they didn't hear it. I don't <laughs> think we're that lucky. Yeah, me neither. Well, they're almost out. Keep going. I'm assuming they'll leave the hole at night, though, right? Oh. Yeah, lift the ship Rex, out of there. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, lift the ship up. Tech. This should distract them. Incoming. There it is. <laughs> yeah, shut your eyes. Ooh. <laughs> Still got everything? Perfect. See, muscles? That wasn't so bad. Uh, just wait a minute. <laughs> the matter between us is resolved. But not with you. Oh. Don't. What are we gonna do here? Cut off one of his he horns? made a mistake, that's all. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> so that's how it works. Our business is finished. That probably won't make Mom proud. Are you okay? It's a small price to pay. Mm -hmm. At least you have your life. Surprised Omega gave up the pet, though. Come on, boys. First round's on me. Why did you stick up for him after what he did? Maybe he's not all bad. He doesn't seem to be a terrible person, but we're all a victim of our upbringing, I suppose. That was a pretty good episode there. I like there at the end when um, when one of the pikes cut off Roland Spike. Um, I thought that was pretty neat. I I guess I'm supposed to take from that that um, that's the sign of a bad negotiation or a bad deal gone wrong. That uh, anytime you see one of these, uh, I don't know the alien type, but someone like Roland anyway and they're missing a spike, um, that's a sign that they had a bad deal in their past, uh, that they're, they negotiated in bad faith or something like that. Pretty neat. Um, thought those bugs there, they look very much like Geonosians, and uh, having, uh, having to go through that swarm, that was pretty neat as well. I have no idea why they go in there with little handheld flashlights, knowing that they uh, you know, don't respond well to light. They could have gone in there with a much more... <laughs> Uh, brighter light, maybe something attached to them that kind of shone all around. I have no idea, but at least they got the job done. Seems like now, even though Roland's still around, um, Sid's got her bar back. So I don't know if Roland becomes part of the story and he's like uh, one of Sid's group now. I have no idea, but would be pretty nice to have some more guards on the team, I suppose. And, uh, you know, Roland's team uh, seems to be rather large. So pretty good episode. Please give a like, please subscribe, and we'll See you next time.